Gadget Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, <laughs> well, beautiful day here at the park. And uh, as you can see, got a box here. Uh, today we are taking a look at the Jai Star Sky Hunter. This is the X8TW model. So it's got altitude hole, Wi Fi FPV. Uh, auto takeoff, auto land, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, just a 0.3 megapixel camera in there. Uh, but the thing about this one, as you can see, is it is foldable and compact. And probably the most compact and truly foldable uh, quadcopter I have actually seen and flown. Uh, so, am I going to be doing an unboxing today outside at the park? No, I'm not going to be doing that. The reason why I'm showing you the box is I want to show you how this doubles as a carrying case, which I think is great because I'm out at the park. I just grabbed the box, threw it in the car, and I'm, I have everything I need. I don't have to worry about grabbing the controller and the battery and all of this stuff. So here you go. Look at that presentation. I think that is awesome. And take a look at the quadcopter here <laughs> so you see it even has folding landing gear isn't that brilliant I think that's great because again it makes it actually portable actually foldable uh, and let's unfold it some of the um, foldable quads I've seen and, and used you you had to take the landing gear off or on or whatever but there you go and it's about maybe a little smaller than a SEMA X5C or about the same size okay so like I said I'm not gonna unbox it I just wanted to show you take a look here um, now after this brief intermission we're gonna come back we're gonna do the test flight we're gonna test all the features out and uh, yeah so come come back after uh, these brief messages Okay, so let's get in here and check out what we get. Once again, here's the box, which doubles as a case. Very nice for toy grade. Here's the quad. It has a 0.3 megapixel pinhole camera, pretty typical for most Wi-Fi FPV models on off switch battery bay let's extend the arms just pull them out until you feel resistance this is its actual size fully extended and this is how it compares to the X5C about the same size and a look at the foldable props. They're the bendable kind. Once again, the foldable landing gear. One of my favorite features. The Wi-Fi FPV antenna. It looks like an SD card would go here, but it does not. Now, let's check out the battery. It has a JST connector and it is a 3.7 volt 650 milliamp hour battery green leds in the front red in the back they aren't visible from the top or the front or the back for that matter extra props usb charger screws for the props Here's the controller. It feels good and looks exactly like a PS3 controller. It has four trigger buttons. It only takes two double A's. The top left trigger is to change your rates. There's three rates, low, medium, and high. Hold down the bottom trigger button for automatic takeoff. 
The top right trigger turns the LEDs on and off. Hold down the bottom trigger to auto land. Hold down both of the bottom triggers for emergency stop. The top button here takes photos. The bottom button starts the video recording. And both buttons are actually operable. The rest of the buttons are for trimming. To pair the quadcopter to the controller, turn the quad on first. Then turn on the controller and move the throttle stick up then down. To reset the gyroscope, move both sticks to the inside corners, just like this. To do flips, push down the right stick and then give the right stick an input. To engage headless mode, push and hold down the left stick. To engage one key return, push and hold down the right stick. You can see the icon indicator when you turn the LEDs on and off. The display also shows rate changes. Now, the phone mount is different from what I've seen before. What you want to do is make sure this metal piece here stays under this hook. The mount will accommodate pretty much any sized phone. Okay, we are back. So we've got the quadcopter all unfolded and ready to go. We got our battery. Okay, in. so we are all connected to the Wi Fi in the quad. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull up the Wi-Fi Star app and there we go and there's our live feed and the one thing I did discover about this quadcopter is the controls on the controller to or the buttons I should say on the controller for photos and video actually do work so I'm gonna take a picture there and you get the sound feedback you can actually use the icons there but the uh, buttons here work so I'm going to go ahead and start the recording by pushing down there and I'm going to push the lower left trigger, or maybe it's the upper, oh, you got to hold it down. Hold down the lower left trigger, and we're going to do an auto takeoff. And there we go. Got a little wind today, but not a whole lot. You know what, I'm going to land it, and give it a little bit of a uh, gyro calibrate. Yep, that did work, because that's a little bit more stable. Okay, that's the low rate. We do have some wind blowing from that direction, so it's fighting that a little bit. It's having a little hard time of it. But that's the low rate. See how it's getting blown. I'm going to go up to the uh, medium rate here. And let's try a flip. Oh, I just turned the lights out. Let's try a flip here. Uh, decent flip. Decent. Let's try another one. Pretty decent. And let's take a look at this feed. The feed looks really good. I'm going to give it some height. Check out the camera a little bit. And just pan it around like so. Just one of those pinhole cameras, so can't expect <laughs> too much uh, from it. But it's functional, it works. All right, let's go ahead and kick it up to high rate now. And there's our speed. And this one flies about how most of the altitude hold quadcopters I've flown fly. You're not going to get a whole lot of pitch out of it. Uh, it's not going to be super fast, but the altitude hold works perfectly. It holds its position very, very well. Okay, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to actually stop the video just to make sure we have it so pushing the down button there and I'm going to take some pictures there's one let's bring it closer there's another one and let's try a little pose <laughs> alright now we are going to start the video camera once again and what else do we need to test with this uh, it does have headless mode um, and one key return and I believe you 
engage those with nope not with those buttons sorry you guys I should have uh, checked the manual <laughs> better than I that I'm doing here uh, but I don't really like headless mode or one key return anyway so we're gonna bypass that <laughs> We're just going to fly it around. How about that? Really good flyer. It's holding its altitude very well. See that? That's full pitch. That is full pitch, my friends. This is the high rate. Let's do a nice little pass. There it goes. And to be fair to this, you know, I've flown some altitude hole quadcopters that had a lot of pitch and were really sporty but most are not most are gonna fly just like this and uh, which is there's nothing wrong with that that's just you know the barometer the internal barometer is not going to allow it to uh, to pick up a whole lot of speed pitch forward the program is just not set for it to do that the rates are set in such a way where the altitude hole will function properly where you're not dipping because with the other ones when you fly them full pit, pitch uh, forward you're gonna dip in altitude a lot this one you're not getting that at all let's try a flip yeah see this one's not gonna be super sporty uh, but I think this one does pretty good funnels let's try it yeah this one does pretty good funnels. It has a pretty decent yaw rate. And for those of you who don't know how to do funnels, it's just basically uh, full pitch forward and you're yawing to the left or the right. And you kind of control your throttle, uh, your height, as you're doing it. But that's, that's about it. Simple as that. Not sure how that video comes out with all that spinning. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can take a photo while we are recording video nope gotta stop the video first so let's do that let's stop the video I'm gonna give it some more height looks like we're still good on the battery uh, flight time will be in the upper left hand corner as usual for you guys and let's take a picture here whoops that's not a good picture it's just parking lot well let's take it anyway okay and uh, I am recording the screen, so we should have both video, the uh, video from the uh, quad, and an actual recording of the screen. So we'll have both here. Let's see how we're doing on power. See if I can do a flip. Yep, we're still good on power. All right, that's good. Range seems to be pretty good. We're just going to spin around here. Very stable. Check it out. It's just sitting there. Very little wind. But check that out. That is stable. <laughs> That's what you call stable. Right? And we are in the high rate. It's drifting a little bit. But just taking some video here. With it just kind of hovering. Just like so. Pretty good. Alright, I think we're done. And it pretty much drops from the sky, as you can see. Okay, let's see. I don't know if we got that video, but I did stop it. Alright. Well, anyhow, <laughs> that was my review of the Star Sky Hunter X8TW. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I like it mainly because it, it it is portable and you can use the box to transport it fold this up put the controller in the box the um, camera mount in the box and you've got a carry case so you don't have to worry about where things are and so so on and so forth I don't know if that's a con as much as a concern for you as it is for me but uh, I like that uh, I do apologize for not testing uh, one key return and uh, headless mode. Um, I did test them before. They do work. They do work. So not a big deal there. 
Um, I don't recommend using those functions because they don't usually, it's not really something you want to use. Um, even as a beginner, I think it hinders, it hinders you in your development as a flyer, as a pilot. But anyway, that's about all I have to say about it. I think it's pretty nice. I like it. I like the way it looks. It flies just as well as any other uh, of the uh, typical altitude hold Wi-Fi FPV quadcopters. And uh, yeah, so if you like the video, like the video. If uh, you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. And uh, if you know anyone that's uh, interested in this quadcopter, share the video with them. And until next time, be good to somebody and be good to yourself. Later. When you can't find the right one to get it, call the gadget man. Call the gadget man.